needles under park benches tossed to the curb or discarded in public bathrooms. I find needles on, on a daily basis. Thomas Sudal works hard to keep our county parks clean. I came here in 2012. I didn't see as much as I do now. It's every year it's increasing more and more and more. You grew up here, you played here and all of that stuff, but now you want that and I'm going to run right there right away to go use it because it's quick, I want it that quick, and I don't want to get caught with it. Rafael Mercado of Team Havoc wants people to understand the dark reality of drug use. He says as dangerous drugs become stronger, users become more desperate, shooting up as soon as possible, wherever they can. I think that's why we're seeing an uptick in um, get it, it's potent, use it. I'm in a park, man, I'm going to use it right here. But it's not just parks that are targeted. In 2017, 36% of overdose calls were outside of private homes. That includes gas stations, fast food restaurants, and medical facilities. Because of the rising drug use, businesses have to adjust. They've got to the point where they have to lock their bathrooms because of this problem. Locking doors to avoid situations like one we found in court documents. The papers say three people met up to do drugs in a restaurant bathroom near Marquette. Two left the bathroom on stretchers after overdosing. Only one of them survived. Because of what they're experiencing in their disease and their addiction to opioids, it's putting a lot of other people at risk. Milwaukee Fire Department paramedics respond to these calls almost every day. They're actually going unresponsive when they're actually in the driver's seat with the car in drive. And some of those calls end up in the morgue. We found people just about everywhere um, that you can imagine. Sarah Schreiber works in the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office, where they've seen a record number of overdose cases in the last few years. We have had to add personnel, we've had to add instrumentation into the laboratory, and we've done things to improve the efficiencies. Things that cost taxpayer money and may cost more as the overdose rates continue to climb. I don't even think we've hit, you know, the rock bottom of this epidemic yet.